let's create another example four underscore JSTL open the folder and create a JSP page index dot JSP now we are going to use cout tag once again so far we learned value and escape XML attribute and out tag now I'm going to show you another attribute and before using this tag just insert tag lib directive hello hello is just a plain text and after that we just want to out this value ABC attribute value but as we know that there is no such attribute ABC what would happen try and run this example for JSTL now you can see that that plain text is visible here but after that the cout tag simply just left it blank right click with the source code you can see that just hello there is nothing after hello in such cases we can use default attribute and uh, you can specify some value here just refresh it hello user what would happen if I already have an attribute naming ABC request dot set attribute ABC and its value is Mohan let's try it again refresh you can see that hello Mohan so if the attribute exists then the attribute value will be displayed but if the attribute doesn't exist then in that case instead of just leaving it blank the cout tag shows the default value see once again what would happen if we comment this tag so to comment it we are using a JSP comment we just commented this request.set attribute and now once again we are trying to run this example so instead of uh, just a blank value the cout tag is showing the default value I just want to show you this example once again you can specify the default value without using the default attribute how would that be possible just comment this tag as well now write c colon out value attribute dollar curly brackets open close abc and now i'm creating a closing c out tag c out closing tag and just write some other name suppose Ganesh see because we do not have any attribute naming ABC in any scope that is why the Ganesh value will be shown let's refresh this page so you can see that Ganesh I just write hello text here hello Ganesh so you can specify the default value into the doubly tag but when this default attribute is helping us to set the default value why to create a closing tag sometimes what happens the default value is a large text and to stuff that large text into default attribute is not a good practice instead of writing that large text into the default attribute you can just create a closing tag and inside that closing tag I'm going to say that inside the tag body you can write the large text value and that value will be treated as a default value see once again I just commented the previous C out statement and I opened this statement request dot set attribute and now because the ABC attribute now exists you can try this example once again refresh hello Mohan if you would comment this request dot set attribute then there will be no attribute naming ABC and you can see the difference Ganesh now the tag is showing the default value so you can specify the default value in two different ways by just uh, writing the attribute default or you can create uh, an opening and closing tag and inside the tag body you can specify the default value the default value will be shown only if 
the value attribute is not resolved if there is no attribute naming abc then only the default value will be shown so in next video we'll see another example